In this video I'd like to show you how to create very cool and interesting shape transitions in After Effects. Hey my name is George, this is my Timber Graphics, hope you enjoyed the video and let's jump over to After Effects. I would assume you have your clips on the timeline like I do, so once you do get those, the first step will be to make the clips overlap. Drag the top clip on top of the bottom one and make them overlap for like a second or so. Then place the playhead at the last frame of the overlap and go to edit, split layer, that will split the layer so now we can start some editing. Make sure you're not selecting anything and select the ellipse tool now. Make sure your fill is set to solid color and the stroke is set to none. Create an ellipse while holding shift to get the proportional size, then zoom the composition out to 25%. Drag the ellipse shape layer and place it above the split clip. Then place the playhead at the first frame of the overlap and bring the end point of our shape layer to match it with a the clip, then go to the last frame of our overlap and bring in the end point. Now select the shape layer and press P to bring up the position, then hold shift and press S to bring up the scale. So once again move to the first frame of our overlap, select the selection tool and drag the ellipse, place it in the corner like this. Create keyframes for position and scale, then move to the end of our shape layer and drag your ellipse in the middle and increase the scale really high until it covers an entire composition. So now if we give this a quick preview, it looks kind of weird at the moment. Let's uh, select the keyframes, right click on any of those, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, or you can press F9 as a shortcut. That'll smoothen out the animation. There is one last step remaining here, so find your split video clip on a timeline Press F4 until you see the track mat options, so click on the switch button, that will bring out the track mat options, and set the track mat of our split video layer to alpha mat. So if we give this a preview right now, you'll see that the second clip is animating inside of our shape layer, but we don't actually see our shape layer anymore. If you think this is cool, we can make it even cooler by selecting the shape layer, go to stroke, make it solid color, Make sure to set it to a grey colour. And once you do that, go to your video layers track mat options. And instead of alpha mat, set it to luma mat. And straight away you'll see that our stroke now contains a semi-transparent mixture of both bottom and the top clips. And in my opinion, this makes the transition even more interesting and way, way cooler than just a flat circle. Let's give it one last preview and jump over to the next example. And since I've already showed you how this transition works in our previous example, so here let's create something more complex. Once again, make the clips overlap by a second, go to the last frame of our overlap and split the layer by going to Edit, Split Layer. Let's grab our Shape tool and in this one I'll be using a rectangle tool. We don't need any stroke for this. Zoom the composition out to 25%, create a rectangle like that so that covers the top half and then create another one that covers the bottom half. Then open up the properties of rectangle 2, transform rectangle 2, create a keyframe for position, then go to rectangle 1 and repeat the steps, transform, create a keyframe for position, then scroll up and select the shape layer, press U to see the keyframes. These are the end position keyframes so you can leave them there. Then move the playhead to our first frame of the overlap and adjust the position. So I'll be dragging the bar rectangle to the right and the top rectangle to the left so they simultaneously animate from both sides. And of course bring in and out points to match the length of our clip. I also place the shape layer above our split clip layer. Now you can change the track mat option of our split clip layer. Set it to alpha mat. Let's preview. And one thing we forgot to do is to select the keyframes and right click keyframe assistant easy ease or f9 as a shortcut so that'll smoothen out the animation and that's what we have a nice shape transition if you enjoyed this quick tutorial please give this video a like and also consider subscribing to my channel because i post a lot of useful tutorials like this i'll see you in the next one have a good day